Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another episode of Hawaiian TV. Today I'm going to tell you about uh, Dorico's uh, frames and system and the ways to add system breaks, page breaks and different stuff. So let's go. All right, now let's start by accessing engrave mode and you can do that by pressing this button up here or pressing Ctrl 3 on your keyboard or Command 3 on Mac. And as I said today, we're going to talk about this option right here, which uh, it's called graphic editing. And it enables you to uh, create and modify system breaks, uh, format uh, of formatting of your music frames and etc, etc. So let's try it out. I'm going to just uh, click on a location here on a button or you can also click on any anything else that it's clickable. And after that, I press create system break and easily I now have a new system break and if you want a uh, faster workflow you can also use the shortcuts the first shortcut is shift and s to create a system break and if you just forgot it or you were not comfortable with it press the magic J button and just write uh, system break and if you click enter Voila, it will uh, work. So, all right, the next one gives you the ability to lock a certain system. So basically what it does is that it will uh, hold everything in one system. Normally, if you uh, modify something, so for example, let's say if I add a bunch of notes here, I'm just gonna repeat, Oop. Uh, let's do it here. I'm just going to repeat by pressing the R button. As you can see, it's jumping uh, to the next system. But then if I undo and I go back to my engrave mode and I put a system break here, uh, sorry, a lock system here. And as you can see, the lock system, even though I was clicking here, the lock system is uh, created here, the system break that, uh, you know, the, the, the flag which it means that it doesn't really matter where you put the uh, system block because it's going to lock the whole system. So now let's try. I'm going to go back to right mode. And now you can see if I just click on these guys and press R, everything is kept in a single system. So it's just going to wait until your next system break uh, when you add it manually. And it just goes on forever and everything will be <laughs> squeezed into one tiny system. Well, a huge system. Yeah, I think it's tiny, right? More and more information. All right, um, let's see. Now, let me go back to engrave mode again. This one's also quite interesting. Uh, we have another option called make into system. And what it does is that um, it it's quite similar to create system break, but this one, uh, allows you to create a system break within a duration. And for an example, I'm going to click on this C here. Then I'll just click on this E. Let's see. Um, all right. So just for you to know, I'm holding control so I can um, select two of these guys. And then I'm going to create make into, sorry, I'm going to press make into system. And as you can see, the system break has been created and these upper three bars on the first system and the rest on the second system. All right, and that was the make into system. Okay, and now before I go to uh, format music frames, let me go back to uh, move bars between system so it's this upper option here this is also quite handy feature and it's easy to use it just lets you uh alternate between the lower uh the sorry the next and the previous system so for example if i click on these uh notes here and i click move to next system it will just automatically move it to the next system and uh, if i want to bring it back up it just move it to the previous system all right and I'm just going to move this up too. Let's see what happens. It doesn't go. So I'm just going to delete this to get it back up. All right. 
Now let's talk about format music frames. And that's quite similar. So you have the same options that you have in the format systems. You have them also in format music frames. And if you look here, you can see that we have create system break, create frame break, lock system, lock frame, make into system and make into frame. So literally the same and also they function quite similarly. Let's try. As I already told you uh, from the last session that we had together, Dorico works with frames, right? And each frame can also be seen as a page in this instance. So for example, if I want my content go to uh, the next page by content, I mean my, uh, my musical content. So I want a few of my bars to go into the next page, which is holding my, uh, my new frame, which is in the next page. Then I can do, uh, I can use the create frame break. So I'm going to just press here and I will just click on frame break and voila. As you can see, it's now in the next frame or in the next page in this sense. Okay, now I'm going to go back and we have the lock frame, which is similar. So it's going to keep everything into your single frame. And that works, for example, if you have a lot of stuff that's going uh, till the end of uh, this, this frame here, automatically Dorico will push it to the next frame. But in this sense, it will lock everything in one frame. So everything is going to be squeezed in one page. Um, and the next option is to just, uh, it's a similar as in make into systems. You just uh, hold uh, two uh, different locations or nodes or bar lines or whatever, and then click make into frame. Let's try. As you can see, these guys are kept here and the rest are now in the other page. And if by any chance you just wanted to reset the layout to the default, it's super easy. All you can do is you just press on this reset layout button and everything will be go back and everything will go back to the way it was before. And also you have the lock layout feature, which it will lock everything the way it is now. So nothing will be modified, right? And it will just, it's somehow like a freeze button. Let's continue. And there's like this bracketing options down here, which is useful if you have multiple instruments and you want to change the bracketing. It's super easy. Just, just mess around with it. You'll get the hang of it. Uh, I think uh, it, it's too easy just to explain it for you guys. You can, you can uh, get it yourselves. And the final thing before I end this video uh, is that as usual with everything in Dorico, you know that we have this lower panel and it gives you more options. So for example, I'm gonna, uh, let's say add a system break by shift using shift S and I'm gonna open the lower panel. And as you can see, this is already highlighted. So I'm seeing the settings of this system break. Now, fun thing is that you can change the break type here. So I can change it into a frame break and everything pops to the next page or I can just keep it system break and you can change the space size. So now it's 1.75 millimeters. So I'm going to say, Hey, turn it into three millimeters. This is quite handy if you're making like workbooks and stuff. Uh, so it just makes it uh, bigger and I'm going to revert and wait for next system break is a, a fancy uh, text for just locking the system. So if you add a, a, a lock here to any of your systems, it works the same as if you just uh, turn on this option and if you have a system break on. So it works the same. And you have the staff labels, which is quite handy. You can, uh, as you can see the staff label here, you have the piano here. I'm gonna just click on this guy again, abbreviate it. And then you have none. So whatever you want to do, you can choose to do here. And we have an option here, which I have no idea how to, where to use this. It's called high systemic bar line. But uh, yeah, I'm really curious if you know what uh, use this has, um, do let us know in the comment section. And so we can, everybody can uh, uh, benefit from it. 
And that was it for this video. In the future, I'm going to go more in depth into engraved mode. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also, by the way, I want to tell you that if you don't uh, turn on notification, you won't get new notification for when I upload videos. So if you're subscribed already, please don't forget to turn on the notification so you get uh, access to all the videos as soon as possible. And I hope to see you soon. Till later, Homo out.